Yeah, you can have anything you want. Even space. Just, um... Tell me why you need it. I'm just feeling a little overcrowded here in Landview. Not, not by you. Not by you at all. You sure? <laughs> of course I'm sure. I've never been more sure of anything my entire life. Then who? Antonio? I knew it would be bad, but I, uh, it's like he's everywhere. You know, I, our families are so connected, I can't get away from him. <laughs> Losing Asa, my grandfather, I mean, I miss him so much. It's not the same around here without him. Yeah, you know, losing Ace, I'm just not sure the traveling that's really going to help you A little time and that. distance might help with things a little. How about work? Todd said I could write from London. Mm. So that's it. You sure. Honey, nobody knows me there. You know, I can go shopping and I can take the kids to the museum and not worry about somebody around the corner whispering about me, about what I've done. What you did, marrying me? No. No. But, let's face it, I, I cheated on Antonio, and everybody knows it. I can't believe Ace Buchanan is actually dead. You were an admirer? Yeah, something like that. Well, he was a great man. Rich as hell. I'd like to be that rich. What can you be? Yeah, right. All it takes is a little determination and the right opportunity. Well, you let me know when you find that opportunity. I already have. Look, I'm sorry we didn't throw you a welcome back party, but you kind of sprung this on us. Might still be time. Well, you're not rethinking coming back to work well maybe i should wait a couple days you know the commissioner just lost his father and I, I just you know i don't want to lay any more on him putting one of his best detectives back in the field i'm pretty sure he can handle it if he couldn't he wouldn't be at work today good point yes what are you waiting for <laughs> uh warm up the coffee get the case files ready uh, i'll be right back yeah I'll be here. Yeah. Hey, right, Tony. Come on in. Have a seat. Sorry about your father, Commissioner. Thank you. I appreciate that. What can I do for you? Well, I, uh... I'm not sure the timing for this is, uh, is right. The answer is yes. You didn't even know what I was going to ask you. Well, you want to get back to work, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Actually, I, I, I need to get back to work. I'll be honest with you. I need your help. So welcome back, detective. Nancy, how could Jen not be proud of you? Look at everything you've done this year in her honor. I'm not always the woman you think I am. I know that you've done things in your past that you're not proud of. But since Jen's passing, Lindsay, you have changed. Well, losing a child, you can't help but change. Makes you do things that you never thought were even possible. I know. That's why I nominated you for Woman of the Year, because that's what you are to me. You know, I never knew my mom. Except in pictures. And that is what you have been for me. You have been right there for me when I needed you most. You're my family. As much as any of my blood relatives. I'm sorry to break it to you, but... <laughs> I pretty much have no pull with your brother these days. He's not going to listen to me because he's kind of mad at me because I'm not part of the Miles Lynch mob. Yeah. I, I thought it was kind of a long shot. I mean, what's up? What are you needing this sister or brother for? Don't worry about it. It's not your problem. Michael, 
I don't understand. I mean, the two of you have been getting so close the last couple of years. Yeah. We were. Not anymore? No. All right, look, um... I'm sorry that I can't help you with John, but if you really want someone to help you with him, I would suggest you speak with Marty Seabrook. Excuse me. I gotta bring the prisoner to court. You ready? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll walk you over to keep the press at bay. Thank you. <laughs> Are those necessary? I gotta go by the book. It's all right, really. Boy, that must have been a hell of a kiss. You're gonna jet off to another hemisphere to be Oh, just shut the hell up, man. So you're just gonna throw the kids on a plane, huh? No, Todd. But the thought of starting over, it did appeal to me. So you're not going? No, I don't want to take the kids away from you right now, and I didn't want to go either. Okay, is the tantrum over? Can I say goodbye now? Sure, what are you waiting for? <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, we got derailed. Why should today be any different? It was really good to see you again. And I meant everything I said before, but... I get where you're coming from. I hope so know it i get you blair i always have but if you should have a change of heart the view from my veranda is not to be missed and we've got some damn fine tango down there <laughs> it'd be worth it just to come down there to see you do it you have a safe trip okay that's the plan okay oh and todd Blair is not coming with me, not because of the kids, but it's because of you. You see, if you weren't such a moron, I wouldn't have to tell you that you're the love of her life. Better luck next time, huh? Well, I can't believe you said that. Well, he's always had a big mouth. You know, Todd, we don't belong together, no matter how we feel about each other. You mean you and him or you and me? You and me. We're good parents. We're good partners, but we're not together. And so neither one of us has a right to, to weigh in on who the person is with, kisses, or anything. Is that clear? Is it clear? Oh, oh, oh. Lord, how do you plan to beat the charges? Is it true your wife is in only your marriage? Hey, Miles. Let's watch that bastard cry.